Are you considering taking Ceftonir to treat a bacterial infection? It's essential to understand the potential side effects and navigate your way to healing. In this video, we'll delve into the world of Ceftonir, exploring its benefits and discussing the side effects you should be aware of. Ceftonir is a broad-spectrum antibiotic commonly prescribed for various infections, including respiratory tract infections, skin infections, and sinusitis. While it effectively fights off bacteria, it's important to note that like any other medication, Ceftonir may cause certain side effects. Some common side effects of Ceftonir include diarrhea, nausea, stomach pain, and diaper rash in infants. However, it's crucial to be aware of the rare but serious side effects, such as severe allergic reactions or anaphylaxis. Knowing the potential side effects can help you make an informed decision about taking Ceftonir and allow you to report any unusual symptoms to your healthcare provider promptly. By understanding the side effects of Ceftonir and being proactive in communicating with your healthcare provider, you can safely navigate your path to antibiotic healing. Let's explore the world of Ceftonir side effects together and equip ourselves with the knowledge we need for a successful treatment journey. Common Side Effects of Ceftonir Ceftonir is a broad-spectrum antibiotic commonly prescribed for various infections, including respiratory tract infections, skin infections, and sinusitis. As with any medication, it's important to be aware of the potential side effects that may occur. One of the most commonly reported side effects of Ceftonir is diarrhea. This can range from mild to severe and may be accompanied by abdominal pain and cramping. If you experience persistent or severe diarrhea while taking Ceftonir, it's important to notify your healthcare provider, as this may indicate a more serious condition. Nausea is another common side effect of Ceftonir. Some individuals may experience mild queasiness, while others may have more severe episodes of vomiting. If you find that the nausea is interfering with your daily activities or if you are unable to keep any food or fluids down, it's important to seek medical attention. In addition to diarrhea and nausea, some individuals may experience stomach pain or discomfort while taking Ceftonir. This can range from mild discomfort to severe abdominal pain. If you experience persistent or worsening stomach pain, it's important to consult your healthcare provider. It's also worth noting that infants taking Ceftonir may develop a diaper rash. This is a common side effect and can usually be treated with over-the-counter diaper rash creams. However, if the rash persists or worsens, it's important to consult your pediatrician. Serious Side Effects of Ceftonir While most individuals tolerate Ceftonir well, there are rare but serious side effects that can occur. It's important to be aware of these potential complications and seek medical attention if necessary. One of the most severe side effects of Ceftonir is a severe allergic reaction, also known as anaphylaxis. Symptoms of anaphylaxis may include difficulty breathing, swelling of the face or throat, hives, and rapid heartbeat. This is a medical emergency and requires immediate attention. If you experience any of these symptoms while taking Ceftonir, call emergency services or go to the nearest emergency room. Another rare but serious side effect of Ceftonir is severe diarrhea, which may be accompanied by blood or mucus in the stool. This can be a sign of a more serious condition called pseudomembranous colitis, which is caused by an overgrowth of a bacteria called Clostridium difficile. If you experience severe diarrhea with blood or mucus, it's important to seek medical attention immediately. Less commonly, Ceftonir may cause liver problems. Symptoms of liver problems may include yellowing of the skin or eyes, dark urine, pale stools, or persistent fatigue. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's important to notify your healthcare provider, as this may indicate liver damage. Allergic reactions to Ceftonir Allergic reactions to Ceftonir are rare but can occur. If you have a known allergy to any other antibiotics, it's important to inform your healthcare provider before taking Ceftonir. Signs of an allergic reaction may include hives, itching, rash, swelling, or difficulty breathing. If you experience any of these symptoms, seek medical attention immediately. Managing and alleviating Ceftonir side effects While some side effects of Ceftonir may be unavoidable, there are steps you can take to manage and alleviate these symptoms. To help alleviate diarrhea, it's important to stay hydrated by drinking plenty of fluids. Avoiding spicy or greasy foods may also help reduce stomach discomfort. If the diarrhea becomes severe or persists for more than a few days, it's important to consult your healthcare provider. Nausea can often be managed by eating small, frequent meals and avoiding foods that may trigger your symptoms. Ginger, in the form of ginger tea or ginger candies, may also help alleviate nausea. If the nausea persists or worsens, it's important to seek medical advice. If you experience stomach pain or discomfort while taking Ceftonir, 
over-the-counter antacids or acid reducers may provide relief. However, it's important to consult your healthcare provider if the pain persists or worsens. Precautions and considerations when taking Ceftonir. Before starting Ceftonir, it's important to inform your healthcare provider about any pre-existing medical conditions or allergies you may have. They will be able to determine if Ceftonir is the right antibiotic for you or if an alternative treatment should be considered. It's also important to take Ceftonir exactly as prescribed by your healthcare provider. Do not skip doses or stop taking the medication early, even if you start feeling better. This can lead to antibiotic resistance and may result in a relapse of your infection. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, it's important to discuss the potential risks and benefits of taking Ceftonir with your healthcare provider. They will be able to weigh the benefits against the potential risks and determine if Ceftonir is safe for you and your baby. Alternative Antibiotics to Consider In some cases, Ceftonir may not be suitable or effective in treating your infection. Your healthcare provider may consider alternative antibiotics based on the type of infection you have and your medical history. Some commonly prescribed alternatives to Ceftonir include amoxicillin, azithromycin, and ciprofloxacin. Each of these antibiotics has its own set of side effects and considerations, so it's important to discuss the options with your healthcare provider. When to seek medical attention for Ceftonir side effects While most side effects of Ceftonir are mild and resolve on their own, there are instances where medical attention should be sought. If you experience any severe allergic reactions, such as difficulty breathing, swelling, or hives, it's important to seek immediate medical attention. Additionally, if you experience severe or persistent diarrhea, accompanied by blood or mucus, it's important to consult your healthcare provider. This may be a sign of a more serious condition that requires medical intervention. Finally, if you notice any symptoms of liver problems, such as yellowing of the skin or eyes, dark urine, pale stools, or persistent fatigue, it's important to notify your healthcare provider. Septonir and Drug Interactions Septonir can interact with certain medications, including antacids containing aluminum or magnesium, iron supplements, and probiotics. These interactions may reduce the effectiveness of septonir or interfere with the absorption of other medications. It's important to inform your healthcare provider about all the medications, supplements, and herbal remedies you are taking before starting septonir. They will be able to determine if any drug interactions may occur and adjust your treatment plan accordingly. Conclusion Ceftonir is a commonly prescribed antibiotic that can effectively treat bacterial infections. While it has numerous benefits, it's important to be aware of the potential side effects and take necessary precautions. By understanding the common and serious side effects of ceftonir, you can be prepared to manage and alleviate these symptoms. It's crucial to communicate with your healthcare provider and report any unusual symptoms promptly. They will be able to assess your condition and provide appropriate guidance. Remember, every individual's response to medication may vary, and it's important to listen to your body and seek medical attention if needed. With proper knowledge and proactive communication, you can safely navigate your path to antibiotic healing with Ceftonir. Thanks for watching.